with another economic update. Today is Thursday, May the 10th, 2018. And I have on the screen today uh, a blog entry written by uh, Miss Shedlock. Um, as someone who looks at things from a libertarian perspective, I certainly agree uh, with Mish, uh, with the fundamental belief that everybody ought to be able to participate in any organization in which they want to participate. And if they decide they want to opt out, they should be able to opt out. And I believe that is true also when it comes, comes to public union membership. Bit of a hot topic. Mish says, good news, public union membership about to dive. He went on to write that arguably the best thing about Trump's election is his appointment of Neil Gorsuch to the Supreme Court, who is highly likely to be the deciding vote in Janus versus an acronym standing for a public union. Um, a Wall Street Journal article said that the Supreme Court decision this spring could cut union rolls by 726,000. Here's a bit from the article that Mish uh, republishes in his blog. Labor unions could lose hundreds of thousands of members if the Supreme Court determines this spring that public employees cannot be required to pay union dues. A court is expected to issue a ruling on the case involving Illinois state worker Mark Janus and the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees Union in the coming weeks. If the court rules against the union, the expected outcome, government workers would have less incentive to join or fund unions that negotiate on their behalf. Now, the study says that this would likely result in a loss of about 726,000 members uh, as far as unions are concerned. And this analysis was based on what happened in Michigan and Wisconsin, which are right-to-work states and now bar such fees. Now, this is what I, I believe this is, is good. In fact, the idea that public employees can organize is something that I have a bit of a hard time with as well. Um, Mish goes on a little bit further and points out some extreme examples. Uh, on his blog, as you can see, there's a picture of a herd of goats. Uh, and I never knew goats could climb trees, by the way. But the point here is that a public union filed a grievance against poison ivy eating goats for stealing jobs. So um, the union now has an issue with goats that eat poison ivy because a union member could be doing that. Um, this is a big, big shift, uh, both uh, in, uh, in, in politics and, and also uh, as far as the economy is concerned. Public sector workers are growing significantly faster than private sector workers. In fact, public sector union membership has increased by about 500,000 since 1997, while private sector union membership fell by 1.7 million. So we haven't heard the last of this. Big potential change coming. That's today's economic update. I'm Dennis Tubergen.